So we're back here today with some more small land. And I had to build a new house. Uh, I mean, I didn't have to have to. These guys, come on. These guys just want to come in here so bad. They love it. But I did build a house over by Scaldi here. Because we got that mission the last episode about the rhino beetle and having to defeat it. So I did actually do a whole bunch of other stuff. And um, for some reason, the audio didn't record or something, so it got all messed up. So we're just going to do a quick recap of what I did. First, I thought it'd be a good idea to go down to the little white area on my map. Since when I went by there before, I had seen some webs, so I figured I could get silk from there so I could make the bee armor and also make the better bow. When I got there, not only was it freezing, but they had a brood mommy as well. I did launch a few arrows down to see if it would do anything, but it barely did anything and my bow would probably break before I could get anywhere with that. So I decided to explore a little bit more of the map since I didn't want to face the beetle yet. So I headed to the northwest region which landed me in the swamp. There was a huge toad and then they came face to face with my first spider fight. It was tough. I got a couple new items from it as well as being poisoned. One of the items was silk. This was awful. I managed to keep myself alive by healing myself while the poison wore off. And while this happened, the frog ate my grasshopper. I had enough of this place already, so I just fast traveled my way home. I had decided it'd probably be best to set up little bases around the map, so I built one near Scotty, near some ladybugs, because they're safe, right? The snow is definitely brutal, as I wasn't able to really go anywhere for long periods of time without eating something to warm me up. So while I built my house, I would go out as long as I could and gather and harvest anything I might have needed. And now I got a house and you're all cut up. Okay, so now that you guys are all caught up, I am going to head down to the rhino beetle. Now, I did build a couple things here. Uh, I have actually been farming quite a bit. It, as you can see, it's no longer winter, which is great. Uh, I couldn't go very far at all without <laughs> dying and stuff because I couldn't get the fur armor. So right now, what I got going on is... I'm going to keep the same weapons that I had before because I think I'll be all right. Uh, I'm, I'm coming to realize that every single beetle is different, so I don't even know what that beetle's resistance is. So I didn't bother making a spear because some of them, uh, they're resistant against certain things. And then some of them, they need pierce damage and some of them need blunt damage. So they're all different. So I just, I'm just going to go with old reliable my sword. And then I did make some fire arrows because I've been farming these bees a lot and they drop the fur. And you need fur for these arrows, and you also need fur for the flint arrows. So, we're going to head on down to the beach. I like that you can actually mark it on the map. That was pretty cool. Alright, look at that thing. Look, it's huge. Okay. Uh, so, what I think I'm going to do... Because I don't know how this arena exactly works. Like, if I could stay up here and just shoot at it, that might be good. But it might take me forever to actually do that. So, I don't know. I'm going to try and pop some shots off from the top and see what happens. And I'm going to try and keep my grasshopper out of the way. Like, what happens if I go over here? Okay, that's just down here. Of course, he's hiding under the, the thing now. And so it's like, I don't know if you get attacked on sight or what happens or... Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to go down there. All right, let me let me figure out a safer way because I think this beetle doesn't really attack me. Yeah, he doesn't attack me, so this guy's okay. I'm gonna get up here, and then maybe I will. I mean, can I just shoot him from up here? Can he get up here? Everything can climb in this game, so all right, here we go. Doesn't see me. Oh, that did nothing. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, that did a lot. Okay, let's keep hitting it. Yeah, let's go. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh. Nope. Nope. Oh, that did a lot. Ooh, heal myself. Heal myself. Come on. Heal yourself. Ooh, I'm going to die. Heal yourself. Heal. 
Oh. What's it doing? Okay, wait. Let's just keep healing. What am I doing? That's stupid. <laughs> Is it going to keep attacking me? What's it doing right now? Doesn't seem to care? Okay. We're going to keep attacking it. All right. Ooh. Come on. Running out of health. Ooh, no, no stamp. Okay, that was good. That was good. Hit. Ha. Why does it keep stopping? I don't know. It did like some weird charge attack before. There it is. Yep, there it is. Okay. Roblo, Chablo. Oh, you can do another one? No, uh, no. It's so much. Oh, oh. Okay. Heal. Oh, I'm using up so much healing. Okay. Oh. This is going to be bad. I feel like we just got to barrel our way through this one. So I only got... Uh. I'm just healing myself the whole time. Come on. Okay, we're we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, get it. Get it. Get it. Come on! Okay, we're just gonna barrel through this. Yes! Alright, we did it. Woo! Okay, what do we get? We get a horn. Alright, we got a horn! That's the horn that she wanted! <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. Those, those attacks were hard though, like, I used, yeah, I used at least 11 bandages because I, I brought a lot and I, and I thought these ones were better, but they didn't seem to do that much. They said over 20 seconds, three, three point. I don't know if this was better or not. I just assumed because it was more expensive, it was better. Oh man. All right. Well, I'm going to go back and see Scaldi now because she's got something for me, she said. And I think I can just do the little log out trick, which is uh, what I'm going to do. <laughs> so <laughs> I might get a couple resources while I'm here. All right, nice. We got our first boss down. But uh, yeah, I'll take the fast way back and I'll see you guys back at the base. Okay, so we got good news for Scaldi. And what are we doing? We we want to talk this time. Hey, Vanguard. Glad you st you're still in one piece. Yeah, I brought you the rhino. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way down to the beach, though. There's more of these? Ugh. It attacked me on sight. This is very unusual. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter, as she is an expert on the creatures of the swamps. Okay, so now we gotta visit Lysandra. Oh, neat! We got the Gecko Tree! Oh, before you leave, please accept this recipe as the thanks. I have found this gecko treat to be very effective in calming down the geckos on the beach. Once tamed, they can be very loyal companions. Awesome! Now we can get a gecko! That, that, that's all you got? That's all you got? Yeah, we can't even make any of this stuff. Uh, I forget where you get the bones from. I think it was from the geckos, because I did get a couple bones. Yeah, I think it's only from the geckos, though. Alright, let's let us let us see this Lissandra. Now, <laughs> I so in the episode I tried to record... I made my way all the way over to here before I got attacked by that Black Widow. And yeah, that wasn't fun. So, Sandra's all the way in the swamp. Of course, the nasty, nasty swamp. Ugh. Always bad. Always a bad time. But maybe the gecko is a better mount for this area. So maybe we have to try and get a gecko and then do that. So what do we need, actually, for the gecko stuff? So we can make it in the cauldron, which I don't have one at this house, but I have one in my other house. And this is an irresistible tree for any gecko. It's an ant head, a bee head, petal, and sea oil. Oh, I have all that. Yeah, I've been farming bees like crazy. So we could definitely do this in the next episode. I just have to find one that's in a semi-safe area that we can tame. Because there's a lot of bad things on the beach. Also, I hope that in the swamp there isn't just random rhino beetles running around. That would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like that's a little bit easier with two people, but like, no, by myself, but that was bad. That was bad. I also got to figure out the food situation because the food situation around here isn't the same as it was around my house. Like, there's some ants around here, but not very many. 
And the bees, I, I don't think I can make anything from bees. So I just kind of been eating, I've been just kind of eating like limb fluid and whatever I had left over from before. But I would say that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. So if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like. And subscribe for more stuff like this. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me, and take care.